line of faith. And I will faithfully execute the office of President of the United States. And will, to the best of your ability, and will, to the best of my ability, preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. Preserve, protect, and defend the Constitution of the United States. So help me God. So help me God.
communists may be doing it, not because we seek their vote, but because it is right. If a free society cannot help the many who are poor, hmm. it cannot save the few who are rich. To our sister republic, south of our border, we offer a special pledge to convert our good words into good deeds. In a new alliance for progress, to assist free men and free government in casting off the chains of poverty. But this peaceful revolution of hope cannot become the prey of hostile power. Let all our neighbors know that we shall join with them to oppose aggression or subversion anywhere in the Americas. And let every other power know that this hemisphere intends to remain the master of its own house. To that world assembly of sovereign states, the United Nations, our last best hope in an age where the instruments of war have far outpaced the instruments of peace, we renew our pledge of support to prevent it from becoming merely a forum for invective, to strengthen its shield of the new and the weak, and to enlarge the area in which its threat may run. Finally, to those nations who would make themselves our adversaries, we offer not a pledge, but a request that both sides begin anew the quest for peace. Before the dark powers of destruction, unleashed by science, engulf all humanity in planned or accidental self-destruction. We dare not tempt them with weakness, for only when our arms are sufficient beyond doubt can we be certain beyond doubt that they will never be employed. Neither can two great and powerful groups of nations take comfort from our present course. Both sides overburdened by the cost of modern weapons, both rightly alarmed by the steady spread of the deadly atom, yet both racing to alter that uncertain balance of terror that saves the hand of mankind's final war. Civility is not a sign of weakness, and sincerity is always subject to proof. Let us never negotiate out of fear, but let us never fear to negotiate. Let both sides explore what problems unite us, instead of belaboring those problems which divide us. Let both sides, for the first time, formulate serious and precise proposals for the inspection and control of arms, and bring the absolute power to destroy other nations under the absolute control of all nations. Let both sides seek to invoke the wonders of science Together let us explore the stars, conquer the desert, eradicate the sea, tap the ocean depth, and encourage the art of commerce. Let both sides unite in all corners of the earth the command of Isaiah to undo the heavy burden and let the oppressed go free. of cooperation, they push back the jungle of suspicion, let both sides join in creating a new endeavor, not a new balance of power, but a new world of law, where the strong are just, and the weak are sure, and the weak are served. All this will not be finished. Nor will it be an atheist of earth 
Let us go forth to lead the land we love. Ask his blessing and his help. But knowing that here on earth, God's work must truly be our own.